Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. In today's episode, um, as almost all, every episode I do say, we're doing something different. Because a lot of you had a very positive um, opinion on the old... Not scrappling, where are you, sir? On the old grinder who used to have his lovely railgun here. Of course, he will have his railgun back, but right now it's been stolen by this. I've decided to try out rails in a higher tier, in fact try to use them properly rather than seal clubbing some little baby robots which is very, very unfair. If with, even with my terrible aim the kills I got were pretty brutal. So these are all tier 8 rails, this is my walker, this was once the Helicarp who will be renamed as soon as I can think of a good name. Yes indeed, the idea of this robot is to have an, an undercarriage, well basically a whole robot underneath, with the top half basically being a separate section. It is connected via three major areas, so four major areas, one being pretty darn huge, so it's unlikely it'll be shot off before the entire thing blows up. But that is pretty much the design we're going for, very heavily on the walker side. Sadly, I only had tier 8 um, rails. I had to go into some tier 8 matches, and I've just now unlocked the tier 9 railgun. So that is what we're going to try and do today, save up for at least one of those, because that will make a huge, huge difference. In fact, let's have a quick look at what the difference is. Uh, 19,000 damage versus 14,000. So yes, 5,000 damage difference per shot. So if all of these were swapped, the difference would be huge. The only problem is they are bigger than the ones I've currently got. So a little bit of redesign will have to take place, but not too much. So, let us jump straight into a game. I haven't really tested this robot out yet. I've only been in the practice matches, so this will be the first match with it. It seems to do decently. It's not the best kitted out just yet, but it, it, I think it's mostly because right now I've, I've been putting a lot of attention and a lot of RP into the glorious flank who has just got his next tier 8 wings, so I had very few resources to spare. So it's all of my legs been put on there just for good measure. I still need to armour up most of the undercarriage for the legs. Red armour seems to be amazing, blue armour seems to be almost worthless, but that's about it. So let's get into a game and see how it fares. And welcome back to a very, very small match. There's only a few of us in here. Probably everyone's busy doing boss battles in Tier 8. Uh, yes, after recording the last tiering um, video, I ended up with a good six boss battles in a row. I think they need to rethink the 10-hour um, cooldown. Maybe make it back to 24 hours. As much as I do love doing them on my boss, it's getting a little bit irritating. But still, yes, we're on a nice map to try this out. Um, everyone n normally stands here, so... Oh, hello. That poor flyer. And we got a kill. Yes, one shot, one kill. Beautiful. Sorry for stealing it, though, sir. I do understand that was certainly a bit unfair. Now, can we see anyone... Who's shooting him? <laughs> You're a bit too far away to heal him there, sir. Where is he? I can't see the enemies. Let's go and climb up a wall. Actually, be a walker rather than a tank. Hmm. The the controls seem okay. Um, turning's a bit sharp, but I think that's because I've got the front and back legs going on. If I were to have six all on the side, I bet the turning would be less sharp. Hmm. Yeah, climbing's a bit of an issue because of that. Actually, might want to reconsider the design in terms of legs. Perhaps elongate it slightly, it would also allow me to have space for shields. I do actually have space for shields on the sides, but I simply can't afford them right now. Well, they're on the flank, and I don't really want to um, cannibalise parts when I don't have to. So there's one... Okay, I definitely can't shoot him from here because the whole range thing's changed. So it'd be worth us firing at him. Um, is there anyone hiding around here? Sadly not. Well, let's go the full circle, so we're over there. It seems that they're all... Yeah, they're all kind of hugging there on it. Well, we're walking backwards. Yep, I do need to rethink the legs. The turning's far too sharp. Oh, what a boring. Here's, a, here's the problem with them trying to record rail matches. Sometimes they're very exciting and there's always enemies in sight. And other games, a lot of the time, you're just trying to find a good spot because the enemies simply aren't there. You can't climb up the shield, can you? No, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Someone's very upset in the comments. Poor poodle child. And jump. And roll. And delete the recording. I joke, I joke. I do actually have a uh, alignment rectifier that isn't working because I'm moving. Would you get stop? Stopping would be wonderful. 
Hello. I'm pressing the button forward. There we go. Lovely. Plasma walker. So it's probably actually on that. Yeah, it's actually on that cliff. Hopefully, I'll try and come this side to get out of the range of the enemies. Now, do I climb up there after him? Yes, because of the SMG tank. Will we even get another shot off? It doesn't seem like we will. Well, this has been a very boring match. Aha, I see an enemy. Let's, uh... Let... Got ya. Aha, two kills. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this recording. Ah, the only time I ever don't keep a recording is when it's too boring, when nothing happens in the entire match. Well, we got two kills. Ah, we also got a victory bonus, so we can upgrade some of our armour. Or we could save up for a lovely tier 9 rail. To be honest, the rail didn't do too badly, so I might just consider armouring up some more. Uh, for now, I'm going to grab yellow. As much as I could go for red, it simply um, ranks us up too quickly, and more importantly, it has the issue of um, costing us too much what it is, and I could replace a lot more blocks. Okay, replace those two as well. Yes, it is a very weird design. The idea is that the main section here is quite well protected, and the top's kind of huge and armoured. I'm not quite sure just yet if I like it or not. That's the problem. The one thing I can say is that I can put shields quite nicely on the sides here, which I will do in the future when I have enough RP. Well, that was a bit of a boring match, and thank the lord I have um, the wonderful alignment rectifier. So let's quickly get into another match and see if we can do a bit better this time. See if we can get some proper action going, help the team, etc. Back in a second. And welcome back to the exact same map. Maybe it's a sign. Let's climb up this wall this time. Let's go up, up on the sheer cliff faces here and use it as a bit of a turret section. And see how well that does. Still learning walkers, still learning rails. It's a bit of a harsh learning curve when you've got both of the things you're learning. Hopefully we can do well. Oh, an enemy there already. Wow. Very quick one. Plasma. Oh, it's a drone. Okay. That's going to come straight for me. Yes, it is. What are you, weird? Welp, still got you, I'm afraid. You may be quick, but still. You don't go up right up against the rail. It's a bit silly. Oh, there's definitely an enemy rail who's doing quite well for himself. Just want to get two kills. Ah, there's an enemy there. He's aiming right at me. Um, why didn't that shoot? Okay. I'm going to get hit by that as well. Ta-ha! <laughs> what? What's going on in my rack? Oh, I can't shoot down! Oh, flaw in the design. Of course, I, I did actually know that, but I completely forgot just this moment. I need to kind of hang if I'm aiming downwards. Let's see if we can see our um, laser dot and see how far we can actually fire. Okay, I can see it there, so I could shoot him. Well, if I, a if I could aim, I could shoot him, let's say. Lovely! Got another kill. Wow. There we go, now I can shoot pretty much everyone, but I am so vulnerable right now. I'm literally hanging from a cliff showing every weak spot I've got. If I get hit here, I'm dead. Who's shooting you? I can't see shot. Hmm. I could, could, I could jump down to get healing, but I do kind of like how I'm just hanging here. They seem to be stuck. Oh, there we are. There's one. A medic tank. Got him once. Let's see if we get him again. Yes! Three kills! Okay, there's a flyer. Really, really wish reload was a little bit faster than this. Please don't aim at me. Please don't aim at me. Please don't aim at me. I don't really want to move. I like the position I'm in. Oh, he's dead. One of our other rails has managed to successfully take him down. There he is. The poor fellow. Oh, he can still move using his things. Not anymore. Okay, got a few kills, but a lot of them were stolen. I can see you too. Well done. I think it's time for us to go forward, but I really don't think I'm the one to do it. Oh, that was totally intentional. <laughs> so I get a better sight. I did actually want to go down, but I didn't want to go down just then. I can't turn. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, dear. I can see an enemy right there. Who's a rail? Okay, there you go. Got both his weapons off, so now he can't actually shoot us. And... Let's see if I can't hit his... Well, he can fly. Okay. Didn't expect that. Should have expected that since he had wings. But... Oh! 
gosh darn it. Oh well. Took out his weapon, so we've done a good job there. Lots to learn about rails, lots to learn about aiming. I'm afraid so, the medic's quite busy. There we go, a victory! That went okay, but I did a lot of mistakes. The learning is still a real thing. Still need to learn a lot. Also, my front is so, so vulnerable. I'm thinking I'm going to need to do something with shields so they kind of um, defend this area. Or at very minimum, change these to red. I don't quite know yet. Like I say, right now, still, a big problem I do have is a lack of RP and trying to get the flank up and running properly in tier 8. So I don't really want to spend too, too much on this bot, but I do want it to be good. I think the design itself is pretty flawed. Heavy front seems to be a big error, plus the fact I can't shoot down very well. However, that's the problem I find with legs. With the legs, I find that you can't quite um, aim downwards because you, because you either clip the legs or simply can't put it low enough because of the legs. Ah, I don't know. I don't know just yet. Suggestions will be very welcome at this point, sir and sirettes. I don't normally ask for help when it comes to designs because I'm a proud person who tends to just like... Who tends to just like uh, making his own stuff for fun, but right now I'm a bit of a loss. I think a complete redesign may be needed, but I'm sick of doing them at this stage. I simply can't make a rail design I'm happy with. That's the big issue I'm having. So, yeah, that's pretty much my predicament right now. Not quite sure what to do. I'm sure I'll figure out something eventually. It's like with the flank. I went through hundreds of flyers before finally deciding this is the kind of flyer I like. Same with the midge. I went through hundreds of um, hovers before deciding this is the hover I like. And I'm just going through the same stages right now with a railgun. With a rail bed. And I think shields will definitely help, even if they are just side shields here. Defend the main carriage. Okay, let's get into another game. We need more practice, so we may as well just throw myself into games. We're not actually doing too badly if you look at the kills. In terms of kills, we're doing absolutely fine, if not very well. But I understand in my deepest of hearts, we're not doing too well in terms of actual skill. So let's get into another match. And welcome back. It seems the snow is not going to affect us today. I've seen that design so many times. Tell me, sir and sir, is that a famous design on YouTube or something? Because I have seen that time and time again the last few days in tier 7 and particularly tier 8. It's just a little thing I've noticed. Maybe I should watch it. Maybe I should watch other rails. Maybe that's that's the best way to learn. You know, actually I will, but on YouTube. I'm going to go and you... Move. I'm going to go ahead and YouTube some um, videos of rails and just see how they do what they do. I want to learn, sir and sir. I'm a person who loves to learn. I That's why I'm at university. That's why I've always been very, very studious. Is that the word? And today I'm learning how to rail. How to rail. There should be a video called How to Rail. Could someone make a video called How to Rail? Railing for dummies. Wow, that turn is so sharp. I'm going to have to do something with the legs. I'm actually tempted to just get rid of the two uh, front and back. Sorry, yeah, get rid of the front and back leg. It's making turning so sharp. I lose control if I turn too hard and I have to right myself again. Which is a huge issue for rail because it takes me a long time to actually aim. Um, any enemies over there? No, not going to see just yet. Oh, enemy right there. And a flyer is trying to sneak past to hit him as well. Got him once. Got him twice. Lovely. Got a kill. That was okay. Oh, there's an enemy there still. Oh, bugger. I forgot you need to aim with this damn thing. Now, he hasn't spotted him, which is making it very difficult for me. Oh, dear. Now, do I reload or do I just save the shot? I think I'll save the shot because that's going to come for me as soon as he can. So let's back off of it so he's a bit harder target. There he is. Spotted me. God damn it. He's certainly a lot better with the legs than I am. Um, there we go. Okay, rail there. Nope. And the plasma's firing at me. I can't take a shot. Be good if I spotted both of them, but if I'm only spotting one, it's a bit hard to tell when they're going to pop out. I'm assuming he's waiting until he's stopped being spotted. That's just a rock. Well done, Lathrix. <laughs> you spotted a rock. They both just. There he is. Got ya. They are very, very sneaky, those pair. Got ya. Okay, took off some of his legs anyway. And now I can hide myself. Ooh, go, 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 go. Nope. Not taking a shot today, sir. I can see you, though. And he's aiming straight for me. I can see his laser. So. 
Spot them both. And let's try and take a shot when I can. Okay, let's walk a little bit forward. A little bit forward. Okay. Turn, 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 turn. And let's take a shot if I can. Got your leg. Got you completely. Excellent. And got your legs again. Accidentally double shot. But still, we're doing well-ish. This is a standoff and we are holding our own. We're not doing perfectly, but it's certainly doing okay. Need to start climbing on things. Well, he's trying to escape. He's gave up the fight, which is fine by me. I don't mind that at all. Just means I've... Is he being healed? I hear healing noises. That would be terrible. That would be terrible? That would be terrible and terrifying, combined into one horrible word. Um, well, they're capping our base. We've, I'm the last one alive. Um, that plasma knows where I am, so I'm not exactly a hidden target. He can easily just tell his teammates where I am. Let's go and suicide and try and defend the base a little bit, shall we? Sounds about right for me. I can hear healing so much. Oh, that makes it impossible. If there was no healers, I might have a chance because I could damage them, walk away, damage them, walk away. But right now, as it is... Yeah, I can be seen. I get it. Oh, oh I can't shoot down. Lesson learned again. And I'm being shot at repeatedly. And now I'm dead. Well, that was stupid of me. Not being able to shoot down is horrible. And I keep forgetting about it. Redesign definitely needed. The whole reason this one is here is the fact it could possibly shoot down, but it clearly can't. Its line of fire is very, very straightforward and up. But we did quite well in the little gunfight. Uh, my aim is getting better slowly. Still a little bit annoyed at myself, but that's the whole process of learning, sadly. So back in a second, in the you know what? Screw it. We only have four legs now. Let's see how it does. It seems like if they hit me, I lose all my legs anyway. So let's just see how we do with four. So back in a second, Sir and Sirettes, which will, of course, also allow me to have my shields without going into the next tier. Ooh. Can these fit? So I can actually afford these. Um, not wrong side. Let's just go over. La 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 la. Will that fit anywhere? Ah, it will. Actually, quite nicely as well. Now, is that left or right after the issue? Oh, it doesn't really matter since I'll get the other side next. Okay, I'll get those instead. Since we can afford them, it's cheap. So, and I'll probably use them later on in different robots if I don't keep it on this one anyway. Okay, it's not the the best, but it certainly provides a little bit of protection. Okay, maybe I'll do it some other way, though. It doesn't look quite as good now I've actually placed it, sadly. I was hoping it would cover more, but it simply doesn't. Um, yeah, okay. So for now, I think I'll just place it there because I've got it, so we may as well. But still. Ah, uh, you're watching me learn so interesting. It's a very horrible pro- Oh, that's nice. Okay, actually covers a lot there. So there's absolutely fine. So back in a second with yet another match and probably me failing again. Again, in terms of how many kills we're getting, we're actually doing pretty well. So... Yeah, let's just try and keep it that. As long as we keep a positive kill-death ratio, we're doing alright. So, back in a second. Welcome back. I lied. We're not um, going straight into a game. I've done a little bit of redesigning, which has ultimately weakened the robot, but I think it's overall for the best. Um, the front legs have been raised, the back legs have been lowered, so it has a natural um, slope. So, its um, firing arc is a little bit lower. The legs are no longer in the way of the guns at all when firing forward. It's got a bit of a tail, because I wanted a tail. And the shields now actually cover the cockpit and are on the outside rather than the inside. Also, they kind of hover over the legs, which doesn't actually become too much of an issue for climbing. It is a little bit, so I'm thinking about moving it back one block, but ultimately it's not too bad. So, Lafrix, why have you weakened yourself though? Why have you got less weapons and etc.? Because, my dear fellows, I am going to upgrade this thing quite significantly. It's going to have tier 9 rails, it's going to have red blocks, and because of that, I can't overdo the size of the thing. I'm also hoping maybe even a higher tier of legs, but that's to be considered in the future. So right now, this is how it looks. It's a bit weaker than it was, but it does move a hell of a lot better. It's a lot more nimble, it can get out of the way quicker, and it's better for me to practice on, as legs also stabilise a lot faster due to the extreme decrease in weight. In fact, I can buy some more reds as we speak. Uh, just grab two of those. Can we grab another? No, just not. Okay. So ultimately, actually what I'm going to do is start replacing these, as I want these to be a bit stronger. Excuse me, two more yellows. 
So yeah, so ultimately this is my practice robot. It's going to be around for a while and I'm going to practice a lot off camera. I think a rail walker is what's going to stay in tier 7, although I'm not certain. So right now, we have the permanent tier 6 scrappling, which can carry any tier 7 weapon with it on its undercarriage. As you can see, it's too damn high to show you properly. That's our tier 7. Our tier 6 rather. Our tier 2 is the pill, who's staying permanently. Uh, Railbug will be a permanent tier 7 when it's finished. Grinder will be a permanent tier 5. Of course, it hasn't got its gun right now, so it's in tier 4, but ignore that. Blib, so far, is a tier 1 robot. Flank is a permanent tier 8, although I think it might be what becomes tier 9 and 10 in the distant future. And Midge is a permanent tier 3. So we are getting there. All we're really missing now is a tier 4. And that's it until we get higher tiers. So we're getting there, sir and sir. So we are finally getting there, and let's do at least one game with the new Railbug. I have played one game off camera. I got three kills and didn't die. So I'm assuming it's better. So far, we haven't actually been doing too bad. I think I've been beating myself up quite a lot. And I think my design is getting better as it progresses. I simply need to learn the ins and outs of the walkers and of the rails. So you have to bear with me for a while. I'll be playing a lot off camera. I certainly will. And I'm thinking about buying premium for about seven days. Just because I am getting a bit sick of the grind. Also, I have got less and less time every week it seems. This week I've only played Robocraft for 5 hours in total. So yeah, it's getting a bit difficult to keep up doing these videos when you've got no RP. So sadly that might be a reality for me, which is a bit sad. I'm not a huge fan of premium, but sometimes you've just got to do what you've just got to do. So back in a second with the final match of today, with the improved Railbug. And we are back for the first real test of this robot, well at least on camera. Let's see how well I do recording and trying to aim. In the past, it's proven I'm not too good at that. Where is all that? Wow, all our teams are concentrated on the left side. I thought we had a much smaller team than we actually did. <laughs> so many flying walkers. It really is very common to see them now. I, I remember originally when, it, when, the, when the legs first came out, they were very rare to see, and now they're everywhere. Yes, you can fire your SMG. Make sure we hit the enemy though this time. Okay, let's, let's be sneaky-ish and be hit. Oh, an enemy over there. Sell an SMG hover, but oh well. Hit once. Hit twice. Hit three times. Okay, my aim has definitely got a little bit better. Three hits, not much damage done. We definitely need the tier 9 rails. It would be very, very nice. Kind of wish I had my fourth gun back, so we could have done a fourth shot, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, etc. We're still learning our game. Let's see. Let's make sure our aim's actually straight and. Hit four! Hit five! Wow, he absorbed five hits before finally going down. That was a very hardy rail. Uh, hover. And we hit the medic over there as well. Lovely. So we've done some damage at least. So even if we die now, we've done... Oh, we should get out of the... Oh, we should really get out of the way now. Those will hate me as soon as they see I'm on a rail. So we should be careful. I know how flyers think. I am one. Secretly. My secret life. And... Yes! Lovely! That is how we do! That is how a rail do. Um, okay, we've been spotted, not sure by whom, which is a bit of a concern. There's an enemy over there, so we really should focus. We hit again. Yes! No misses just yet. Awesome. Do a fair bit of damage. If I was a tier 9 rail, the damage would be significantly higher, so I'm a little bit... I think that's the first thing we really need to save up for. Let's just walk away from him calmly, so we get to our healers. So we actually know it's turn around and be a sneaky little bugger and turn around on him. Hopefully we won't be expecting that. Got him. And take a bite to your gun. Take that, you bugger. Oh dear. Oh dear. Our medic is dead and so are we. We have no time to climb up anywhere to hide. We are simply going to have to run for it. Sadly, our legs are definitely slower than their wheels. As is life. Um, we have no... Oh no, I forgot to add a rail jammer. A radar jammer. They know exactly where I am because I can't hide. Indeed, they are firing in our general... Oop. Let's see if we can hit him at least. Let's do something before we get caught. Nope. Not happening. Ugh. Okay, let's try again. No! Our first miss. No! And our gun got shot off by that rail there. Sir, you should have some sympathy for me. Okay, as soon as we get noticed, we're dead. Ah, we did well. We did well. We need to learn how to hide. 
I have no time to... Yeah, we're dead. Ah, oh well. Wee. How many rails do you have? Do you see, do you see the damn rail spam that tried to hit me? Wow. He's like an octopus, like an upside down octopus of little rails. Is that actually effective? I can't imagine that being effective. I mean, he missed every shot against me, so it does seem to be ineffective. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the design we're going to go with. Every match, we've at least got one kill, so we haven't done too badly, really. I think I'm beating myself up over nothing a lot of the time. I do need to improve a lot of things, and a tier 9 rail would be wonderful. So I'm going to play a lot of games off camera. Oops, pardon me. And that will be us doing that, what we're doing. So, thank you for watching Sir and Sweats. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of a flounder of an episode. And I hope to see you next time. Likes and comments are very, very appreciated. And sorry for the terrible gameplay. Goodbye.